One of the main promises that we've seen from NFTs is the royalty feature. And that's what we're gonna go over in this video. All right, so back in 2021, NFTs were all the rage. I'm sure you guys remember the crazy speculation when Beeple's NFT sold for $69 million worth of ETH. Uh, crazy, <laughs> people were trading apes at hundreds of thousands of dollars. Since then, you know, we have seen that bubble pop and things come way down. Pe people are still looking at pudgy penguins. We have seen a rise in the last 12 months of some of those NFTs again here in crypto. But for the most part, a lot of the craze is over. We had exchanges like OpenSea and marketplaces like them, along with Magic Eden or Garden of Eden. But there's, there's a bunch of places that you can go and trade these NFTs. There were people that were even making a living like arbitraging NFTs back in 2021 when the prices were so outrageous. We've seen them go from, you know, being issued on Ethereum to over to Solana and a few other networks. We now have NFTs on the XRPL. We now have meme coins on the XRPL. It seems like that's the last place that this stuff always ends up, but it does eventually make its way there. So we, we want to talk about the royalty feature on NFTs. This is really the main premise behind why you would issue a digital title is really what I look at NFTs as because it'll programmatically pay the originator or the creator of the NFT a royalty on this and, and they can program whatever that's going to be. So imagine you're an artist, you create music. The producers of music often take the majority or the lion's share of the revenue off of whatever is produced. And this has really wreaked havoc on a lot of people's lives. Britney Spears is probably the most prevalent or prominent person that you can think of where she made all this money and now she's super famous and really doesn't make much money off of the music that she made. Back in 2021, we did have Kings of Leon and a few other people issue NFTs against their music, which is really cool because that is the premise of it. The creators will get royalties and perpetuity on it. However, a lot of these marketplaces and other people are starting to remove that feature and really kind of take that away from the creators of whatever it was, whether that's the art or the music or whatever other digital title or representation of value we've seen on chain. They're either wrapping it or just not honoring these smart contracts at all in certain marketplaces in order to reduce fees and become more competitive. And so that's really unfortunate. I think that that's one of the main principles and promises of NFTs or non-fungible tokens is this creator reality where you're able to mint that on chain, whether it's against a physical item that you've created, or maybe it's something that you purchased. One of the things that I thought about in 2021 was issuing an NFT against the title of a vehicle, Jay Leno, right? Imagine Jay takes his car collection and he issues NFTs against all of them. And those are the digital titles of those vehicles. There's a lot of people that would want to own a vehicle that Jay Leno owned and the full provenance is there. So it's verifiable on chain. The same thing would be like if it's a guitar that Slash played or another prominent artist, you could see and verify that this is the guitar that this person played on this date. And then it was sold to the next person at this price. Right now you have to have paperwork and there's a bunch of other things that can be lost that, that are moved along with things. And there's a lot of stuff that can be faked, right? So that's the other benefit of an NFT is it's a unique digital identifier that's always specific to that item. It never changes. It cannot be um, manipulated um, or messed up on chain. So I'm hopeful that even though, you know, a lot of these marketplaces have done this on the digital art, these apes and other things that we're seeing today, that as we do move toward a digital economy and NFTs do become more prevalent, you already have an Apple wallet, you have a Google wallet. I'm confident that these corporations will eventually allow you to hold representations of value or digital titles against all of your personal goods that you purchase using that wallet inside that wallet as a receipt that shows ownership of that item. And when you trade that or sell it to somebody else, that NFT will transfer with that item to the other person as well to authenticate and verify that that transaction actually happened between you and the counterparty. And if you're the issuer, hopefully you get paid a royalty. Hopefully this has been valuable for you. These are all things that I discuss here on this channel. If you do like this content, please like, subscribe. We will see you on the next one.